This year at Enfield County School, the focus of our CPD programme was on outstanding teaching and learning. Although next year we do aim to continue our exploration of what works best in classroom practice, we want to finish this year's CPD on a high. For our last teaching and learning breakfast together, Jen and I would like to celebrate the best in teaching and learning at ECS. We are well aware of the wealth of expertise amongst all of our staff and we feel it would be remiss of us not to tap into this. Therefore we want you to share an outstanding teaching moment with colleagues in a speed date setting. Speed date setting? Girl, tell me more. Well, I'm glad you said that, Jen. I've got a couple of experts to explain it. You sit down at a long table <laughs> and it's like boys on one side and girls on the other side. All boys and boys. Yeah, but boys and girls work best. And have five minutes to talk to them and get to know them. Yeah. And then you get to know them and you see if you like them. And then if you do, you take their number. And give me an example. Give me a role play. Okay. I'm Young a boy. boy. I'm a guy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Roger. Samantha. Nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? Unemployed. I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I have a really great job. I'm a mime. Oh. Can you not tell I'm wearing my makeup right now? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I look good, don't I? So. <laughs> it's a very fun job. I mean, I get paid like Tempe a day because you know I do on the street. But yeah, it's fun. Okay, Roger, how old are you? Um, 31. How old are you? 27. Oh, okay. You're young. Let's pull cool. Time up! What's that? Um, so you only have five minutes to talk and then you get a new person. Who gets the new person? Samantha. Oh, the boys have to get up. Yeah. The guys have to get up. Okay. And move round. So how would that work? So, because like, it's really short. So you sit and it's like a date, which is when like two people go to a restaurant or something and they get to know each other. Mm. But because it's speed dating, you do it really fast. So no you're time only, for food. Yeah, you only have a short period of time to get to know someone and then you move round. So what so, happens at the end? Like, how do we know if Samantha and Roger are gonna you hit it off? You the box if you like them or not. And then at the end, if you both like each other, then the announcer guy says, Roger and Samantha are a perfect match. And then you swap numbers. Yeah. And then what would happen when you swap numbers? And then I'd be like, hi, did I call to you? <laughs> it's only been five minutes. I'm very keen. Do you want to go out with me? Yeah! That didn't sound very enthusiastic. Oh, I was trying to be. <laughs> our professional speed date event will take place on Monday the 4th of July in our usual teaching and learning breakfast slot. We want the whole teaching community to be involved in a fast-paced, good practice sharing event. So make sure you come prepared. Here is how it works and what you need to do on the day. Please bring your favorite pen and your TLB folder. Choose a teaching strategy inspired by this year's outstanding teaching and practice program. You must then present it in one minute only. It must not be longer than a minute, so please practice in advance. Your chosen strategy or outstanding teaching moment has to have cross-curricular appeal and measurable positive outcomes. After your one minute talk, it's now your turn to listen to and record your thoughts on the outstanding teaching moment presented by your speed date partner. A record sheet handed out on the day will allow you to select your favorite strategies. You might want to approach colleagues later on to find out more about their idea, its impact and the practicalities to consider. 
The ultimate aim of our Moo event is to share good ideas and to see them implemented in your classroom. <laughs> What's going on, man? Ready? You did like the whole reciprocal teaching. Ready? Okay. To finish this video, um, here's one we made earlier of what we actually want uh, from you guys on speed date on Monday the 4th of July. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, so my strategy is for a year 8 second language class with the aim of firming up their pronunciation skills and it's called Pronunciation Island. It's a pirate themed treasure map uh, where the students follow five steps to get to the treasure chest. Here are some examples of the steps. This is step one, for instance. It's lots of work on pronunciation skills, particularly ION sounds in French. Mm -hmm. So they go through this. Um, I do some modeling first of all. I model in, it once. In groups or? Uh, it, they, can do it in, they will do it in pairs, but obviously I model it to the whole class first. Okay. Um, so I model it, do core repetition, then give the pairs three to four minutes to work together on this. Uh, step two. Uh, was for instance about verb ending. So now they're working on verb ending. It's all related to the topics, of course. And when they get to the treasure, uh, to the treasure chest, on screen behind me we do a correction and then I test them on all the new sounds that they've practiced. The impact is not just noticeable in terms of engagement, but also it's measurable because the students felt and were more confident in pronouncing those words. So for me, that's a strategy that really had a, a lot of um, impact and, mm. and that I really liked. Sounds great. Thank you. Cowbells, my go. Right, so my strategy that I used was the reciprocal teaching. I thought it best because uh, that's the one that I spoke about in the TLB. So I did try it with my year 13 group for an exam practice question on uh, a Shakespeare extract. This was Rip to the Third. Now I use this because I don't really like using group work in, in A level because especially up to exam practice, but I thought, no, I'm gonna try this one. And it, it was fantastic um, because the four roles um, was allocated Mixed ability, I didn't give anybody a particular role. I asked them to choose themselves, um, so they self-regulated okay. the groups. Right. I had a group of 19, I made them into four groups of four, which made it easier, and I asked for three facilitators. So anybody okay. having a bad day, they would help me, Fantastic. and they did. And uh, what was special as well about it, what I, what I tried to do as well, because I didn't just get one questioner, I asked them to actually move around the roles on the same extract. So they actually looked at the extract four times okay. together, and then did a piece of writing by the end, an exam practice question. Great, so the impact was measurable. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you.